When the Eagles are officially on the clock with the number eight overall selection in the 2016 NFL Draft, they will be in a place I know they didn't expect to be one year ago, and you can bet they don't expect to be one year from now, holding a top 10 selection in the NFL Draft. Last year, the Eagles were supposed to be good, didn't work out. Ended up with the 13th overall selection after a trade by Howie Roseman. They move into the top 10 in a draft in which Howie Roseman said they love 10 players. Well, they'll get one of them at number eight. And for me, when they're on the board, if Ronnie Stanley, the offensive tackle, played left tackle last couple years, started as a right tackle, he's versatile, former basketball player, very, very athletic. If he is on the board for the Eagles, they have to do what you do with a top 10 pick. Take a franchise-changing player. Top 10 picks should not be about needs. That's what good teams at the bottom of the first round do. Top 10 picks should be about talent. And for the Eagles, even though right now putting Stanley on the roster creates a little bit of an issue with Jason Peters still there, probably in his last or second to last year, Stanley would have to probably move to left guard, a position he has not played. And he'd have to learn that as a tall and bigger guy. It would not be probably his easiest transition, but I think he's athletic enough to do it. And for a year, it makes sense because in time, when Jason Peters is done, it would give the Eagles options at left and right tackle with Ronnie Stanley and, of course, Lane Johnson, who they re-signed. When the Eagles are on the board at eight, they have to find a guy that could be there and be a franchise player for them, regardless of position. Ronnie Stanley, offensive tackle Notre Dame, he's that guy.